Hello everyone. Today we are at chapter 5, Statistical Inference. Before we can go through chapter 5, you have to be very familiar with what is hypothesis. So today we go through and make a revision on what is hypothesis. Hypothesis is actually a proposition that can be tested. Proposition is a statement. It is a statement that we argue that this is happening or this is a fact that we want to say that we are argue against the fact. For example, I will say that if a person is sneezing greater than one meter, that will keep you safe from coronavirus. What does that mean? It means that I'm saying that, I'm putting a statement saying that if someone is sneezing more than a meter, I will be safe from coronavirus. And that is my statement. And I can test my statement whether my statement is true or it is not true. So, it is actually we are making a proposition almost every day. So to formulate a hypothesis, hypothesis can be two type of hypothesis. The first one here is HO or it is called null hypothesis. And the other hypothesis, the second one is called alternate hypothesis or research hypothesis. And that is denoted by HA or H1. When we say HO or null hypothesis, we are saying that there is no relationship between variables or the relationship is not true or the statement is not true or the statement is against what is our expectation. Is this different from our expectations? H1 on the other hand is our statement, the findings that we expect. We want this statement to be true. So in other words, we want to test H1 against HO. The decision rule is that HO, we reject HO if evidence supports H1. But we cannot, if we do not reject HO, if evidence do not support H1. So it's either we reject HO or we don't reject HO. Symbol used in hypothesis. For HO or null hypothesis, symbol used are with equal indeed, such as the symbol of equal, the symbol of greater or equal, or the symbol of less and or equal. Whereas if you notice the symbol used for alternate hypothesis or H1, there will be symbol with no equal sign, such as not equal to, which is against equal. If in HO, it is equal sign. In H1, the symbol used is not equal to. And also the symbol of greater than or the symbol of less than. Can you notice the difference between the symbol used in H1 and the symbol used in HO? This is very important. Okay, then let us look at how to write a hypothesis. So I will give you a few examples on how to write a hypothesis. Okay, first example here. According to Boyut, Boyut is saying that he is making a statement, Boyot is making a statement saying that on average, a person takes less than 5 minutes to book a puasa. In other words, Boyot is saying that everyone is taking less than 5 minutes to book a puasa. They cannot eat more than 5 minutes. But Sauda, his sister, does not agree with Boyot. She said that it is not true. And she argues against that. Saora is saying that 
on average, a person takes more than five minutes to eat for their berbuka puasa. So we write down in a hypothesis, HO is the now hypothesis, berbuka puasa time is less than five minutes. H1 is the statement that we want to test. Berbuka puasa should be more than five minutes. H1 is the test hypothesis, meaning that we are testing Sauda argument against Boyot. Or we can also write down hypothesis such as HO or now hypothesis mu, which is the sample mean, is less or equal than five minutes. Remember, the five minutes here is the mean, the hypothesized mean. So in the sample, we are saying that on average, it is five minutes. So we, we are testing the mu of five minutes. So HO is mu, sample mean, is less or equal than five minutes. Whereas for H1, mu or sample means is more than five minutes. So there are two ways in writing hypothesis in this example. Okay, next example on how to write a hypothesis. Let's say we want to test whether students' average spending to buy new dress for Hari Raya is different from 300 ringgit. In other words, I am saying that, or we are all saying that, students will spend not 300 ringgit. They will spend less or they could spend more than 300 ringgit. So you want to say that our research hypothesis is the mean u, or the sample mean, is not equal 300. Students might spend more or greater or they might spend less or smaller. Whereas the HO is saying that the mu is equal to 300 ringgit. Look at the word we want to test, meaning that this is a statement that we want to test. This statement should be the H1 or the alternate hypothesis or the research hypothesis. Okay, example number three on how to write a hypothesis. We want to test or I want to test whether UITM students spend less than two hours per day to study during MCO or during movement control order. So this, the statement here should be our research hypothesis, which I am saying that, or we are saying that, mean mu is less than two hours. And HO, the null hypothesis, mu is more or equal to two hours. So we want to reject this HO, and we want to prove that H1 is true. In order to prove H1 is true, we have to reject the null hypothesis. Okay, those are a few examples on how to write down hypothesis. Okay, when we, before we can select a hypothesis or before we can write down a hypothesis, we need to select our sample. So where is our sample coming from? Our sample comes from a population. A population is a bigger, a bigger number than a sample. A sample is part of a population. For example, a population is a total number of students from the faculty of business. Whereas a sample, for my research, could be just student from BBA insurance or just an, a few number of students from BBA transport. So, a sample represents a population. But sometimes, when we pick up our sample, we might commit error. And this error might be called type 1 error and type 2 error. For type 1 error, we reject HO while it is true. In other words, we are not supposed to reject HO because HO is the correct hypothesis, but we reject HO. When this occur, we call it type 1 error, or we, it is denoted as sigma. Sigma means type 1 error. 
The other error, or type 2 error, we call it beta, or it is denoted as the symbol beta. Type 2 error means we do not reject HO while it is false, meaning that we are supposed to reject HO, but we fail to reject HO. If this happens, we are committing what is called in statistic type 2 error. So how to avoid this error? How to avoid type 1 error and how to avoid type 2 error? To avoid type 1 error, the chance of making type 1 error or sigma is called significant level. For example, if you select a sigma of 0 0.05, what does that mean? It means that the likelihood of type 1 error to happen is only 5%. The higher the confidence coefficient, for example, 1 minus sigma, or 1 minus the sigma that we have chosen here, 0 0.05, equal to 0 0.95, meaning that 95%, we are confident that we are not committing type 1 error. Higher the confidence coefficient, meaning that if it is 90%, 95%, sorry, lower the risk of committing type 1 error. You can also select sigma of 0 0.01 or sigma of 0 0.10. Type 2 error. For type 2 error, it is slightly difficult for us to control. The only thing that we can do to avoid type 2 error is to increase our sample size. The higher sample size, meaning that the higher will be the power of the statistical test. If you have larger sample size, it is definitely better than having a smaller sample size. So that is all for this, for, for this uh, slide. We will continue on how to do t-test in the next slide. Thank you very much and selamat berpuasa.